welcome back to the channel. So one thing that I would really like to see as we're preparing for the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to take center stage again in his church, I'd like to see a de-emphasis or reduction of individual platforms, especially online. Um, it would be great to move things, you know, offline, really, where people aren't continually drawn to, you know, somebody on YouTube that has 600,000 followers with a gigantic ministry and just a small handful of those people. Whatever their gifting may be, it may be absolutely wonderful. If it's a gift of teaching, if it's a gift of prophecy, they definitely have things to contribute to the church, but I don't want that to make other people feel minimized in that they don't have that kind of a gift and so they may not have anything to offer and, and that's a lie. There's level ground at the foot of the cross and in the body of Christ. And when we're occupied, when we're being drawn to information online like that, getting entertained by somebody else's speech or watching what they're doing in their ministry or their church, you know, if it's across the country or wherever it is, when you have so many of those and they're all online, it really takes up a lot of time to follow what other people are doing or saying. And I think that the focus really needs to be drawn local to a local level in which the church engages with each other in their own community, each serving with their, their own gifts in a large variety of ways so that we're not spending all this time on YouTube trying to take in what everybody is saying and doing. Because what that does is it puts a person like me inside my own house, isolated and busy just absorbing somebody else's information rather than engaging in the church myself. And I think a large majority of people probably fall into that category because there's only a few you know, headliners, I would say, online. Um, but I think that's, it can be a really unhealthy dynamic because it can really puff up that individual's perspective or perception of themselves and their contribution to the church. So it may take a relinquishing of the platform in order to let the Lord step in in a greater way to utilize and empower the entire body of believers, not just a select few who can speak the best, teach the best, or communicate, you know, their individual words of prophecy. And we may still see some of that, but my point here is, kind of goes along the, the same lines as my previous video about idolizing figureheads. The church doesn't need to go to one person every single day, we all need to be infilled, indwelt, and empowered by the Holy Spirit to do good works right where we are. 
and it's not going to be some huge task or huge burden because Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. So I really think all, all the change is going to be is it's going to be, you know, gatherings may look different and what happens inside those gatherings may look a little bit different from the standard operations of a gathering on a Sunday morning in a particular building with a particular name with a particular head. Um, but the purpose of the, of the smaller gatherings is to focus on spreading the kingdom, occupying territory, engaging with the poor and needy nearby rather than giving money to a figurehead's building project. So the reduction of gigantic platforms I think is a necessary element to allowing the Lord to come to the forefront and take center stage in the church once again, where we don't have individuals propped up at such a high level compared to everybody else. I'd really like to see it spread out. And I do hope that the Lord will move in this way in the future just to maintain a healthy body and a healthier individual perspective and perception about contributions to the church body. Where each person is working and serving the Lord and not a ministry or a particular minister. 